welcome to Tastefully Home. I'm Jen. And I'm Melissa. And I'm excited about this Are recipe. You? It looks so good in the picture. It is. So. Again, you know, the picture yeah. got my attention and I have made this several times. Everybody in my household eats it. It's got nice flavor. It's kind of a salad, so I would say this is more like a lunch for us. Okay. I don't. And it's this. got meat. It's got so meat. Stacy's happy. <laughs> but I, it's it's just you know, I don't know. I hate to say it, but for a guy, it's not filling enough. He'd right. eat it for supper, but he'd be eating nachos at you know bedtime. Or we'd go with a burger or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it definitely like at a picnic, a side, like you said, with okay. a burger or. Easily, you and I could have it for lunch, okay. and the kids liked it. It's called strawberry chicken salad, and I it was right around the time when strawberries, you know, were yeah. ripe, and we had so many, and it's like, what do you do? So I'm just, you know, looking for recipes, and came across this. You make your own dressing. Okay. Um, I guess I don't really know how good, healthy it is. I don't think it's too bad. Well, you know, yeah, I don't Terrible. think so. I'm you know, honey, vinegar, yeah. soy sauce. I don't think it would I don't, be that bad for you. I don't think you. it's too bad mm -mm. for you. Um, and it really adds a, a, a unique flavor to it. Okay. I kept it separate so that, you know, I was serving it to some company in case they didn't want it. They could add, you know, ranch sure. or whatever. But everyone did try it and liked dressing. it. Okay. Yeah. So the dressing is a half a cup of honey, um, one half cup of the red wine vinegar, four teaspoons of soy sauce, uh, garlic clove minced, and then a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, which really gave it, I think, the twist. Okay. It just, it, I just really like the ginger. And, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper. And I think when I came down to the salt, it was a dash of sh a salt and a dash of pepper as okay. well. I didn't really measure it. Your salad, now we're gonna kind of revise this um, for the show, but you need a pound of the boneless, um, skinless chicken breast. And when I did it the last time, I did do it that way, but I have some pre-cooked already I chopped. I love that. I, that's one chicken. of the staples at our house. I buy it. And it's all for the time. salad. I do. I just microwave yeah. it and then use or it for salad. Or fajitas or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's just quick and easy, good to go. So um, if you were doing, you know, you're taking your boneless chicken and your cutting it into strips. You will also need a tablespoon of vegetable oil and then a teaspoon of butter. Oh, okay, if you're going to brown it. Yeah, you'll brown okay. it and cook it up basically till it's no longer pink in a frying pan. Okay. But I'm just gonna take the frozen stuff and we can toss it in the now, frying pan. Is this pan. the diced? No, you don't have the diced. No. Do you have, okay. I have, it's, yeah, the... The little strips or whatever. And it's already a little bit flavored, but okay. it'll be okay. Um, and then you need, it says eight cups of torn um, mixed salad greens. I just basically, you know, made a salad. I wonder if you, because bag. I get the bags, yeah. I guess, and I'm thinking yeah. that's kind of fairly close. That's all I did was a bag. Okay. This time I had just a head of lettuce, but I've done the bags okay. before. Um, and then it says a pint of fresh strawberries, and they're sliced. I don't even think I used a pint. I just basically okay. sliced them and chopped them up. And then it did say a quarter cup of chopped walnuts, but I said optional. See, and I, and I, didn't I don't in. like walnuts, but even before we got down here when you were reading through, I thought almonds, because I do like, like almonds, almonds, not walnuts. No, just but so if you, want a, if you want a crunch, throw some nuts right, in, but right. I didn't do that. Okay. Um, and then... You know, of course, if you're serving it, you can throw a few extra strawberries on top. A little just, garnish or yeah. something. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is in a small bowl, we are going to combine the salad dressing okay. um, mix. So um, do you want to... Now, is maybe this, do, is it, because, you know, I'm looking, we've got honey, so you would think sweet, but then you've got the soy sauce and the vinegar. And, and the ginger does a little bit. I'm okay. going to put this one in yep. first because the... So is it kind hard. of a sweet and sour kind or of. tangy? Yeah, or? I would say tangy. Okay. Um, but not overbearing or anything, just just good. Okay. All right. Just sitting here yeah. watching it go into the little cup. <laughs> so a half cup. Okay. Half cup and then a half cup of honey. And okay. Just thought it would be wise to do it this and way. And not as much. Well, soy sauce. I love soy sauce, but wow. Okay. And we only need four yeah, teaspoons of soy. Yeah, I was going to say, if you have too much soy sauce, you'll mm. be drinking water for the rest of the night. Yeah, so. just a tish. Are you going to be able to get that out, or do you want me to grab you a spatula? If I can find I'll one. I'll get the majority of it out. Okay. Well, it's a fat one, so you probably won't get much out. Okay, and I have a half teaspoon, so I'm going to do several of these, just so people don't think, how much soy are you putting in there? Oops. See, yeah, I just... 
You know, if we go out for Chinese, I think Steve just douses the Does whole he? thing. Does he? Oh, he loves oh. soy sauce. Where I just I bake and mm -hmm. cook, not bake, but cook with it. But that's it. I don't put it on anything. Okay. And then my garlic clove, and I've got a small one, so you could go, you know, big, skinny, whatever. Let's see if I can, yeah. Just a little bit of garlic. Oh, I suppose you could do it. your garlic powder too. There's nothing better than fresh no. garlic though. Okay, our dash of salt and, pepper. salt and pepper. And we need to put our ground ginger in. Okay. And that's just half a teaspoon of that. Mm, that's a half, so, so if, I, if I kind of do that, will that work? Mm, well, you know. Maybe I'll way. put that in and add a little more. <laughs> Since you said the ginger pretty much makes yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It, it, I mean, it does, but I don't, I think that's something you probably don't want, you know, to go overboard on. Right. Okay, and now we need a spoon to stir. Okay. Plus, did I forget one? Yeah. Okay. So we'll stir this up, and then I think, if I remember right, we are going to refrigerate this for Ooh, a tish. Thicker than I imagined, but I yeah. guess honey obviously would make it thick, so. Um, extra garlic. Now. Okay. So I'm going to take some of this chicken, and okay. I, of course, I mean, we're not going to measure this out, so I'm just going to throw some in here. I may throw just a tish of oil in just sure. yeah. while it's kind of cooking up here. Um, make sure I have the right burner on. Oh, this smells so Doesn't good. it? It's just, it's got a really unique I mean, even if taste. you, yeah, just uh, have this over salad all the time. Yeah, and I did. I was able to keep that in um, the refrigerator for several days and I used it. Really? Again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to grab just a little bit of oil. Just a tish. I'll do that before I burn my fingers. There. All right, and maybe we'll let this cook up a bit and then come back. Okay. Ladies, save the date! The Lakes Area Women's Expo, presented by Essentia Health, returns to the Kent Freeman Arena on September 12th from 4 to 8 with a VIP hour from 4 to 5. There's amazing vendors to shop and browse, a fashion show, there's sampling, door prizes, goodie bags, live music, even motivational speakers. Oh, and we're just getting started. There is so much more. If you want to be a vendor at this amazing event, call Amy at Leighton Broadcasting at 847-5624. The Lakes Area Women's Expo, September 12th at the Kent Freeman Arena. Brought to you by UCARE, Old School Boutique, and Leighton Broadcasting. Okay, so you're just cutting it up I am. a little bit. So I just saw it bite I size and I, I'm doing it in my non-stick skillet pan. I shouldn't be doing it. Cutting them? Yeah. I don't think she's touched the pan though with okay. the knife. So. Yeah, I'm mostly using the plastic spatula, right. but once in a while the knife well, is needed. And the so. nice thing about this pre-cooked chicken that we get from the local yellow truck man that comes to our house once every two weeks. <laughs> you can figure it out. But anyway, it's so tender. It really it is. is. And that's why I like it so much. And, and you know, it's easy. I have, and I, I will be honest, I have bought every name brand locally that I can of this chicken and I find it fatty and gristly will, and this yeah. is the only meat yeah. and I just don't, I don't have to pick anything out. No. It's They do a nice job of putting good. the good meat in they there. They do. So. so, and I just think the kids love it. Yeah. We use it, we go all through it a lot. Uh, what is that, a pound of a, in the bag or I more? Think two pounds? Uh, you know, I buy the diced chicken. Oh, okay. I don't usually get the fajita chicken oh. and I think it's like a pound and a half. Okay. And it is pretty expensive. I'll it admit is. It, it. But is. it's well worth it. it You're is. paying for the quality. You really but are. But if you bought, you know, your boneless, skinless and did it yourself, I think it works out to be about the same. It probably I does. like this because I don't have to do anything with mm -hmm. it. It's already flavor, flavored and yeah. everything. Well, and chicken is one of those things that you know it has to be cooked very well. Yes. And yep. this is already pre-cooked and you're reheating it again yes. so you know that it's, it's done. It's ready to go. Um, it's gotten very golden brown. Now we need to take about a half of a cup of the okay. salad dressing and put it in here and cook it for a little bit more. And I've got a third cup, so I'll just add a little extra. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> Maybe. It's all, well, you, you know, know what? You it's feel the spices. That? Like, it's very it spicy is. in here right I now. I want to sneeze on the food. So, a okay. little more? A little bit more. This just allows the meat basically to marinate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and saturate and oh, get that yeah. flavor. So, it was, it was if really I good. Wish there was a way that they could smell this because oh, it, it is, is so, so good. nice. 
Now this, I just basically, uh, I'll grab it, but you know the little salad dressing mm -hmm. shaker things? I just put that in. So basically, I let this um, Well, and there's no oil in up. this, so it shouldn't separate, I wouldn't it think. It doesn't. You know? um, so when I served it for company, the meat already had the flavor, and then I let the people choose whether they wanted to add more or and not. Everyone used and everyone anyway. did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, it was an, a nice dressing. And then, of course, you have stuff left over if you want to do it again. Yeah. So I'm going to, I turn the heat down, but I'm going to maybe just turn it up a bit. So you just basically want this to cook and cook off, basically, okay. a little bit. Um, and then hopefully the meat will soak up most I of this. I think so. Just let it simmer for yeah. a while. Yeah, and then I do have my lettuce cleaned. I don't okay. know, some of it's torn, some of it's not. And you've just got iceberg lettuce. Does it matter if you have, you mean it you doesn't, could do you could do spinach or mix, anything. or yep. whatever. So anything. I, I just, some people, I mean, I don't, I shouldn't say I don't notice a difference in taste, mm -hmm. but not significant. If it's spinach, obviously, you, do. It, yeah. you know, it's different. But Yeah, and I'll do the spinach um, mix, I don't know, in the bag. It's, mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of everything, and I do like that. The kids eat it fine. Okay. They know what spinach looks like. They tell me it's going to make them grow strong, you know. Oh, yeah, Popeye. Tell them, tell them whatever. We'll make them eat it. I don't even know um, if Popeye's on anymore. No, they they don't know Popeye. Okay. It's not. They asked, did you, did you watch that when you were little? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, we're starting to date ourselves. Yeah, so. I know. But everything but has a way of coming back. It does. You know, so just wait. Star it Wars came back. It did. It all, I was going to say the Smurfs. I was so shocked. Yeah. They were watching. I'm like, oh, I watched that when I yeah. was little. So that's come back. And Looney Tunes, I don't know if that ever left. I don't think it ever really left no. either. Yeah. Care Bears. I, yeah. I mean, that was huge when I was Strawberry little. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. yeah I, and, you know, the people who are doing it are probably very wise marketers because you and I are buying it for our kids because it brings back memories for us. Oh, yeah. You know, I think, oh, I had a cabbage patch. Yeah. I still have them. Do you, I didn't I buy the new ones. I said, oh, you want a cabbage patch? Here's two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still I've have mine, too. Yeah. I know. Those were probably the only things that I kept. And okay. I don't think it ever went up in value bit. like I thought it would, it considering didn't. the craze people. Yes, people will wait in line oh, and they be gone. The 2019 Becker County Fair, Wednesday, August 7th through Saturday, August 10th at the Becker County Fairgrounds in Detroit Lakes. Wednesday, August 7th is Entry Day. Thursday, August 8th, Senior Day. Friday the 9th is Kids Day. And Saturday, August 10th is Family Day. Don't forget to take a ride on the Midway. And in the Grandstand, Automotive Barrel Racing, a Memorial Volleyball Tournament, and two big demo derbies. The 2019 Becker County Fair, August 7th through the 10th in Detroit Lakes at the Becker County Fairgrounds. Okay. okay. I did turn that down. I'm just going to kind of let it. I brought it basically up to a boil. Okay. And I'm just, I turned it down now, and I'll just kind of let it sizzle. Okay. Um, maybe here I've got some torn. We'll maybe just tear some. Okay. The bigger chunks? Yeah. Ooh. I like the inside of the... I do, too. The, Is it the heart? Is that what they call yeah. it? I really like it, That's too. That's my favorite part, and I know some people throw it away. They don't like it at all. But... I do like it, but I am. I guess it's just laziness. I really, I do, but I bathe the bags all yeah, the time. Yeah, and then you don't get as much. No, and I usually end up forgetting that I have it. It mm. goes in the drawer, and then I look, and it's too brown. Yeah. Of course, the kids won't eat it when it has any brown at all on it. The I bag just stuff does go it does. quickly, doesn't, doesn't it? Stay as Where fresh. I can throw this in a bag with a paper towel, and it'll last weeks. So. I suppose, yeah. Just kind of. I don't know, but but it's my salads are very my slim pickings most times. If I don't buy the bag with everything in it, yeah, I might yeah. get a tomato and a yeah. green pepper. And oh, that's yours about it. ahead of mine then. Mine just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you think that's... I think that's pretty good. I'll make uh, we're not going to make more. a full salad. We end up with all this food. Okay. And I'm going to maybe chop up just a few okay. strawberries to mix in with the salad while the chicken is okay. kind of sizzling over there. And then we'll leave just a few to garnish on top. Now, of course, it says slice, but I did cut mine up. Um, just basically to make them bite size. There's okay. nothing worse than trying to eat salad that's not bite size. Yeah, it's, I you know, agree. especially at restaurants. Like, do you cut your salad? Do you just shovel it all right. in? What do you do? I usually shovel it in. <laughs> this would be good to make. I was just thinking. I mean, it's summer and it's gorgeous right now, but it would be good to make in the middle of December. You mm. know, because you can get strawberries. Yeah. They're probably not as good, but just a little reminder. Yeah. Of, I keep saying this every time I want to complain about the heat. I'm like, wait, wait. 
You'll be regretting this That's in a couple right. months. So, and I suppose you could substitute strawberries for raspberries too. Right, something like that. I so. just liked them because they gave. Or just Great don't have color. the strawberries. I mean, yeah. and have this. Yeah. You know, that's fantastic. You could. So. Okay. I'll just chop maybe a few of these up and kind of give it a toss. Up, so. Okay. Is it? It cooked up very well. Did it? Oh, good. Good, because you don't want too much. I'm going to add a few more. Good. Some Do you want to maybe turn that right off then, that yeah. burner? Those burners, even on low, stay so hot for so long. Okay. Now, let me just kind of double check. You know, I kind of know what I'm doing, and then if I don't look, I'll end up making a mistake. Um, yeah, so we're going to put toss all that together, and then do you want to maybe just, maybe not all the chicken. Just put course, a little in. Yeah, we'll just kind of stir it up, and well, I should look Jim, for Jim, I think you have a winner here. This looks like a great, easy recipe, and yeah, we'll toss it up. And you can let the chicken cool if you want. It doesn't say so in the recipe. Okay. Um, I'll maybe get this into a salad, you know, pour a bowl thing, and then we'll try it. Okay, I can't wait to try it. So, <laughs> well, good, easy can, recipe, yeah. and you can use some of those fresh strawberries. That's right. So. I'm Jen. And I'm Melissa. This has been Tastefully Home. We'll see you next week.